How's it going, pups? It's a canine. You don't know me, I don't know you, but I'm here to review Sonic Frontiers OST. I'm gay! Anyway, I'm gonna be starting with Undefeatable, the first track we hear in the Sonic uh, Frontiers boss battle. This is the expectation, and what a fucking expectation it was. It literally set the mood for the rest of the game. Sadly, the rest didn't follow up, but this was the pinnacle of Sonic Frontiers. Kellen Quinn is vocally the best part of this whole entire OST. No shade to anyone else, no shade to anyone else, but Kellen Quinn is an expert and vocally the best performance in this entire OST. It's no shot. You get exactly what you're expecting as soon as you hear the first words coming out of Kellen Quinn's mouth. I cannot express how good this track is and how smart they were for putting this as the first boss fight. Kellen Quinn has been singing for emo rock for a long, long time, and you can just see and feel in this performance, it's literally professional. Like, this is the best you can get right now. <laughs> I probably heard this melody like a million times, I'm not gonna lie. What really changes this is Kellen's performance, the way he's vocally performing. He's not just singing over it, he's adding his own flavor. It really feels like a Sleeping With Siren song, just literally scrapped, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this feels too good to be in a Sonic OST. I'm so sorry. Like, I love the other songs from like, you know, Crush 40 or whatever like that, but like, vocally, it's never been this good until now. Like, this is some good shit. Dude, if I look tired as fuck and sound stupid right now, I'm so sorry. It's because I am. I am overworked, underpaid. Uh, that's why you guys should subscribe because I make the best content when I'm fucking tired. Next shit, break through it all. This song is basically the same. I have the same praises, the same sort of like feeling about the first one. But the only difference is that um, it doesn't feel like an overall powerful. It feels like a very good runner up to like the second track. And this is exactly what it needed to be. Like Kellen's literally doing their thing and they're just doing it so well. Like vocally they are just so fucking good. And that's honestly what I love to see from a track. Now this next song wasn't as good as it should have been. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this comment, but like, you know, I'm gay and trans. Like, I already get enough hate as it is. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> the internet is not kind to my kind. Yeah, this song is like, it feels very basic and run of the mill. It doesn't feel like a good continuation of what uh, the start built it off of. It feels like it's teetering off and going into this more like, mediocre type vibe not to say like the track isn't good it's a very good track but like i've heard this song sort of done before you know what i'm saying like if you've listened to like rock in like metal like basically i feel like you've heard this song basically done before a million times like nothing special is really going on here and the rap core the rapping isn't my cup of tea as a person who's enjoyed, like, old Linkin Park songs, you know, with rapping and everything like that, I feel, even then, I feel it just doesn't really fit too well. Because I'm basically just waiting for the chorus, I'm waiting for, like, the lead singer to do something interesting with the track. Like, the rapping isn't really doing too much, and it isn't really, like, too flavorful. If you notice very carefully, even Kellen Quinn on the track, is basically doing basic stuff not really doing anything too interesting still vocally good like very professional and everything like that but like he doesn't seem to engage with this track he's just like just going through the motions of being a professional basically nothing flavorful nothing too impactful this track isn't really the best to me it's it's mid it's like i'm seeing double vision take a seat i'm on a mission he got everything to gain Another opinion people are gonna hate me on, but I gotta be so fucking real here. I'm here is mid. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
this track came out it was one of the first tracks we heard in the game and like it was it was okay it was very much okay and i thought it was like a very very you know good track for a sonic game at the time but then you know they released the kellen quinn track and then i was just like oh shit i'm sorry i'm sorry to the person who made i'm here you are never going to like top kellen quinn i'm sorry they got an actual legend on this shit <laughs> it's, it's trying too hard to sound like a finale like a phenomenal moment in the series when it didn't necessarily match to that and vocally it didn't really sound too interesting i will say the scream or like their crackling voice when they say um frontiers is very very good and i actually like felt that shit but the rest of the song doesn't really match that sort of like quality you know what i'm saying it ain't it it's it, it's kind of mid i'm here reaching for Anyway, that's my rankings for all of the songs. If you hate me, um, that's absolutely fine. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm down with being hated, I guess. If you enjoyed this shit, uh, just let me know. Smashing the like button, subscribing, commenting, tell me your list, tell me whatever the fuck you want to tell me. I don't know, call me slurs. Don't call me slurs. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, hope you guys, hope you pups have a good day and I'm out of here. Oh!